Kills. There it is. Let's grab those bones. Let's bury him too because I know the meme. Rarg doesn't like bones. Um, is this even that much of an upgrade? No, it's not. I really think he would have had to have some poor, poor picks to not beat this build because he was already looking pretty strong. He had a better weapon than this last episode. No. Is he out? Oh, he's <sighs> out. He is out. How much food? How much food, Ken? 15 HP. 11 cakes. Guys, it is Hasidious. It's middle of Hasidious. That is huge. It means... We've obviously got these chunks unlocked over here, so I can then connect up to the magic shop. I can do the plan I wanted to do this episode. The sparrows! That literally is the barrows one! <laughs> I can't do it! Thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video. ExpressVPN is a virtual private network and what that allows you to do is surf the internet anonymously and change your location. So as you can see right now, I'm in the USA, New York. And as you can see, if we search for it's always sunny in Philadelphia, it doesn't come up because it's not on American Netflix. But if we change our location using ExpressVPN to the UK, so now our connection's been rerouted by ExpressVPN, we can watch anything on UK Netflix. So how does ExpressVPN help you in your gaming life? A big thing in RuneScape is DDoSing, and that's when another player finds your IP address and is then able to make you crash out the game, meaning in PvP they might be able to just do a bit of damage to you and then bam, they DDoS you and they get all of your items. Not the best way of going out. And also while streaming, if someone finds your IP address while streaming, they can shut down your internet and they can stop you from being able to stream or they can get you out of the game whenever they want. So it's a big thing to mask your IP address with ExpressVPN and that's exactly what it does. It stops people from being able to see your true IP. So if you want to have peace of mind while using the internet and gaming, watching TV, then click the link in the description and find out how you can get three months for free by using my link. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the PvP progression series. If you missed any of the previous episodes, I will leave a playlist in the description and in the top right corner of this video. If you just click that, it will take you through every single episode and you can get yourself caught up. Just finished up doing my magic. Just finished up doing my rewards. That's why these stats are down a little bit. Um, and we got 15k XP to use and I put that into magic. So we now have 36 magic, which unlocks a few more spells. And to be honest, we're getting close to like the Falador's, Teleport to House, etc. Wind Blast. Um, and we'll probably get those today, hopefully. So, we got the Hasidious chunk last episode. I have five unlocks, five squares I can click now. And I've got a few good reasons for why I'm going to do this. So, the first one is going to be this chunk here. Uh, mainly because I'll be able to start fishing. Um, and we can get ourselves shrimps here. There's also snake grass on here, which will be useful for when we make prayer potions later on in the account. So it's good to unlock those now. Um, 15 fishing will allow me to then use the fishing trawler minigame teleport and get back here. Uh, so I'll be able to use the chunks that I previously unlocked. I don't know why that's locked. There we go. Uh, so I'll be able to use the previously unlocked chunks over here by using the minigame teleport. Unfortunately, with what I'm going to be unlocking, there's no way for me to get back to Zaya. Um, so it will be a case of when I'm ready to do it, um, then we will leave Zaya and we'll go back to the fishing trawler, um, you know, squares. I could unlock the tie farm down here, and then if I walk in, I get the tie farm tally, and that would be a mini game teleport back to Zaya. But unfortunately, if I go down to those squares, I can't do what I want to do here. So Next up, we're going to unlock Port Piscarillus, um, and this will unlock the ship to Port Sarim slash Land's End. And so hopefully at some point we will be unlocking Port Sarim, and then once we unlock that, we'll have uh, free travel between Port Sarim and Zaya. So that's why I've done that. And then obviously to get to this chunk, I actually need this one unlocked. It does have a pub which sells wines, might be useful. Um, for just some cheap healing food um, and then we're going to unlock this chunk here not for any particular reason there is a lesser demon which is actually where I got my magic XP there is a lesser demon up 
stairs here and it's actually not behind a cage or anything you can safe spot it but it is um freely moving so any drops are very easy to just pick up and then for my last unlock obviously is going to be the archaeus chunk getting ourselves the staff shop and the magic shops as well which is going to be really really nice that means we can have access to runes we've got the catacombs hey guys and welcome to episode four of the pvp progression series as you guys know i spun the barrows chunk which is pretty big i think in terms of not having to worry too much about it later i mean the problem right now i'm, I'm kind of trapped in mauritania or i should say i'm trapped from getting back to mauritania there are ways to get here of course um, but like the minigame teleports locked and everything, but what what I really should be talking about is how Martini can't really offer me anything uh, From from where I am on the account right now Bergerot is blocked off I'd waste so many squares going to Canifis. I'd waste so many going to Port Fastimus, which is kind of blocked off anyway I would only do it for the charter ships, but there's no ships currently leading there right now So I'm kind of at a loss for unlocking anything other than connecting it to the main chunk because it's really close to that first unlock that I've had. Because um, of course, once you connect to a different landmass, you can then, as you can see, add on to other um, areas that it's connected to. So that's why I kind of wasted a straight line going towards it, just so I can unlock things elsewhere that I've already unlocked, basically. Um, now, I want to say real quick, I really did think about unlocking the abandoned mine. But the problem is, there's no real way for me to get food here. Bergdurat is blocked off. I cannot fish sharks. And even these slimy eels and the snails, I have one cooking. Um, there is absolutely no way for me to get food. I think there is a bank in Tarn's Lair. But the problem is, is one, you have to pay him every time you have access to it. And with the traps and stuff, I'd, I'd go through all my cakes. And I'm going to need to save those for the fight anyway. Um, cause I'm still rocking those cakes still. So that's why there's a straight line through Mortania to get to this landmass because I want it to unlock other stuff because as you guys know, we have this teleport. Thankfully we did unlock the Lumbridge cause we don't start with anything in our inventory. So I would have been trapped essentially unless I got to that bank in the abandoned mine or wasted squares up to Canifis. So... Other than those three, which unfortunately are a bit of a waste, which will come in handy much later in the episodes, um, I wanted to unlock cows to start uh, crafting. I know we're going to get XP rewards, but I'd rather try to go for a uh, Ring of Recoil this episode rather than hold off on it, because then I could put my XP in fishing or maybe just get a higher crafting level, you know? Um, crafting is going to be huge for mid-game, especially like 50 crafting, you get a, uh, what's it called, a Strength Ammy. And I think that's probably the highest one that's reasonable. I think a power is like 70 crafting, which is a bit ridiculous. But uh, so I think 50 crafting is where I want to get to. But I'd rather get 20 this episode if I can. Um, up here, I unlocked this just to get the dungeon so I can get to red spider's eggs. It also unlocks uh, chaos druids, which I think will be very useful later on. And then as you see, this one's kind of a dead unlock. But I want to work my way towards these two squares because that is Druidic Ritual, which of course is why I also have Edgeville because herbs, this allows me to start herb lore. And uh, that that is ultimately the main goal. Okay, let's start the timer. Boom, there we go. And the first thing I'm going to do is grab out a net and we're going to start doing that fishing so that we can get ourselves... 15 fishing and access to the mini game teleport or fishing trawler. There is our first inventory and also four fishing coming in. Uh, I'm going to be cooking as well because I do have a food plan. I won't reveal it just now, but uh, I think I have a pretty cool food plan that uh, we'll try and execute later on. Hopefully I can get in here. I feel like a lot of Hasidious is like, you can't use this because you don't have the favor, etc. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, so I'm just going to be getting my cooking up at the same time. Um, and yeah, we, we need a decent level. We need a decent level, I won't lie. But uh, I think I've got a plan on how to get some seriously quick cooking XP if we need it. Before we carry on with any more cooking, I am just going to get myself some silk together. Let's quickly lure this guy. And yeah, just going to get some silk together because obviously we've got to wait for the cooldown for it to actually sell. Uh, so it's a good idea to do that now while I'm still, you know, not needing the money. So we're just going to quickly do that. Okay, that should do me for all the runes I want to buy. 167, and I got 13k from last episode. So let's get the net. Let's carry on and getting these uh, fishing and cooking levels. 
and then we'll hopefully be close to the cooldown in terms of being able to sell the silk and then we can get into trying to get a rune scimitar and of course trying to get some upgrades. There we go, that is 15 fishing. Took a lot longer than I thought it was going to but we now can use the minigame teleport to the fishing trawler so we can now get back to our area over in Yanil. Um, now I'm going to have to get 30 cooking. This wouldn't take long at all. I've got a food shop right here in the square and there's also somewhere to cook just next to it as well. So it's just going to be a case of buying cheap food, cooking it, bang, bang, bang. 30 cooking is the next thing we need. So unfortunately, this is going to be pretty shit XP in terms of combat. I also put all my 20k XP in strength to keep pushing up that max hit. Um, I want to be as powerful as possible with melee. Plus, later in the series, we'll probably get some fat XP rewards, and I can get my range and magic up pretty high if I want to through that as well. So, uh, ultimately, right now, crafting experience, and I also want to start cooking, especially if I put my XP in fishing from the reward, whether I win or lose in this episode. I can get my fishing up to an okay level, I'm sure, and if I can start cooking and hopefully work towards that uh, 33 so I can actually get in the guild and get that food upgrade. Um, and Port Serum is also kinda close-ish. I, I, I actually technically could unlock Port Serum, but look, it would have been blocked off. I had to unlock these as well, which would have been possible because I wasted the three in Mortania. Um, I can't do a Rat Pits Telly and I can't do the Farming Patch Tree Spirit Telly. So those ideas were shot, but um, we're, we're stuck crafting and killing cows, which I do think is gonna be the solid plan. Because I think Link might wait till next episode to go for recoils. If he can, of course. I mean, I don't know his region right now. But um, he's probably going to put his XP into crafting. Unless, he's get, unless he gets the Druidic Ritual one, which will probably go straight to Herblore. Because um, that's exactly what I would have done. And I know we think alike on that front. So, unfortunately, can't put the XP into Herblore this episode. I did want to get there, but wasn't possible. So, crafting... Crafting's gonna be your move this episode, guys, and hopefully get our melee stats up a little bit. Are you kidding me? Look at how many I freaking burnt. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I burnt 12 out of 14. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be one of those days. Oh, at least we're mainly here for crafting experience. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This random event gives a bunch of fishing XP, doesn't it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Wait, is this the island one? Yes, fishing. Fishing. Hold on. This is massive. Okay. All right. Give me the statue. I don't think you guys realize how crucial this really is. Guys, early fishing levels sucks, which is why I wanted to put the XP reward into it. Um, it's going to get me to like seven fishing. It's got to. Be seeing you. See you later, Bob. Come on. Come on. Where's my XP? Seven fishing! Let's fucking go! Alright guys, just leave myself 18 coins from that farmer over there. That little motherfucker failed like four times trying to get it. We are now 13 cooking, seven fishing still from that random event. Um, I don't fully know how many hides I have in the bank, but I am done cooking now. Let me stop picking up that because the levels are pretty slow and I think it's not worth it at this point. I'll never get 33 this episode unless that was my sole goal and... Honestly, that's a waste of time. I'd rather train than, you know, cook beef all episode, but I got a nice head start. So now we can cook other things when I'm thrown in different areas. But I keep getting thrown in the same damn area, so... Which isn't a bad problem, by the way. But, guys, let's go tan these after this inventory. I think I'm gonna have, like, 160 around that. Right, this is taking way, way longer than I thought it was going to. But, uh, this is 29. Going into 30... Should be 30 coming up in this inventory, but it has taken a lot more time than I thought. That isn't my whole cash stack, I just brought a little bit out, so we do have like another 5k or something in the bank right now, so we're not looking too bad on money. There is 30 coming in. I will just quickly do the last ones, because I'm going to have to get higher cooking at some point anyway, because obviously we will be going for those potato and cheeses, etc. at some point, um, and we actually have everything we need in this shop here. Um, and then we also have a dairy cow just around the corner as well. So potato and cheeses are pretty doable for us. Uh, I think in our other area we can make potato and cheeses there as well. So yeah, in your nil we can. Uh, so that is definitely something worth doing. Just cook all these and now I can finally make what I wanted to make in terms of food for the final fight. We are nearly, nearly used two hours, oh my god to do all of that. That is crazy. But uh, yeah, we'll drop all of these. Uh, yeah, let's go and do it. 
Okay, so jug on the sink, water together. Let's drop some apples for now, and let's put this. No, 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 no. I'm so in the in the zone of doing that because I've just done that for like twenty minutes. Right, so we make pie thingies, put them on the pies. Then I think we put the apples in the pies. Yeah, to make an apple pie. Beautiful. So we're going to be taking apple pies into the fight. And that is why we've gone ahead and got 30 cooking. They heal 7 a bite and they have 2 bites. So 14 heals is what we're going to be getting from the apple pies. Which is very, very nice. Let's see what the burn rate is going to be like. Please don't be too bad. Okay, that's good. Good start. Ooh, very nice. Bad. Okay, and one more. Go on. Yes, okay, it doesn't look like the burn rate's gonna be too bad here. We're gonna work with that, see what we can do, and uh, top off on that 20 crafting so we can make the um, the recoils or the sapphire rings to make the recoils. And just because I know someone's gonna ask uh, for the cooking, I can't even do cook's assistant because I don't have access to the windmill, and I can't do sheep shear because, you know, blocked off. And I wasn't gonna waste a square to get like a quick five crafting, especially when I have cows. All right, let's get out our needle. Let's get out our thread. 50 of them, that should be enough. And we have 169 leather. So now I'm gonna make the best thing I could make. The next thing being leather boots at level seven, nine to 11 leather cowls and so on and so forth until we hit 20 basically. Now again, this won't get me to 20, but uh, I'm gonna use this to see roughly how many more I need after I finish the 169. And then of course, after that, back to cows and wrap up the 20 crafting. But um. It's taking quite a long time. 17 crafting from 169 leather. Now the XP kept shooting up with the leather bodies I can make now. It's 25 XP at level 18. I can get 27 XP per um, per cow killed. So yeah, we're slowly you know chipping away at it. It should be relatively quick from this point forward. We'll also probably get, at least I hope we'll get 46 strength in the meantime as well. The, the XP is absolute garbage here as one could expect. Again, I'm not going to worry about cooking the beef this time. We're just going to full send the hides and go for that 20 crafting because there's still more we have to do to get the recoils. We still need 33 magic and we still need to find cosmics, with which hill giants do actually drop cosmics. 1 in 64 and I haven't gotten any, but I think I might go there for cosmics because I know it's good XP and good prayer XP, So, but we'll see. We're just going to play it by year and um, see what happens. Ooh, just one-shotting these cows, man. 20 crafting has been achieved and we can now in fact do sapphire rings we're also a bit low on cash so we got to scrape together some stuff here i know i have some death runes which i might just chuck in the bank not the bank the general store or the maid shop even and try to get some coins from that and work around that also need to top off on 33 magic so we're gonna head to varrock the moment i craft this last one and boom spank everything and we're off all right, we are at the mage shop. So let's hope we can get a nice pretty penny with this stuff. A um, little less than I wanted to. We're going to sell five per world and just hop. And then just spend all the money on runes. I was being a bit of an idiot there. I can just literally make the pies right here and then go and uh, cook them all at once rather than doing trips. So uh, that is what we're doing right now. And uh, I think this is actually going to be enough now. So let's go and do this. Just did a few more, um, just to make absolutely sure. But let's go and cook, and let's hope we don't burn too many of these. That is painful. That is really, really painful. I don't know how many I cooked before. Let's have a look. 23, so we do need to make a few more. A bit annoying, but uh, it's the way it goes. I need the food for the fight. Hopefully, all, hopefully this will bring me the win. Much better. Although I say that, and I start burning them. But we only needed five, so that is enough. I have food for the final fight. Let's get into actually getting some combat up. Bloody hell. Okay, after selling all that, 22k is the bank value or the coins that we have now. First thing I'm going to do is get myself a couple of staves. I think, is, is that the plural staff? I don't even know. Let me know, comment section. Um, uh, it's the next one. Brilliant. So, we are going to get ourselves a air staff and a fire staff. Uh, the reason for that is we're going to be using fire strike to kill Zamorak warriors, and I'm gonna go magic in the fight. You bastard. 
Oh no, don't, no, 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 no. Obviously we do all the testing on the main, so I like tested my plan, but obviously I've got Arceus favor on that. Oh, please don't say it. Please don't say it. Trade. Okay, we can use the Jenny store. Okay, so we can get we can get those runes, which is good. Can we use this one? No. Oh shit. Doesn't sell chaos runes. Doesn't sell chaos runes. Oh no. Does sell bloods? Like what the fuck? I wasn't going to originally do this, but I decided to take my runes over to um, the Ankus again and try to go for that weapon poison. It's not many casts, but it definitely will get us 33 magic for uh, Teletonetic. Where is Teletonetic? There it is. And uh, it'll give us a little extra shot at getting that weapon poison as well, which is another goal of mine. Only problem with that is getting money together. So maybe we can get lucky. There we go, guys. Just got 33 magic. Um, I'm not going to leave just yet. I'm still going to use up all my runes for the chance at the weapon poison. But the moment water runes, we're done maging for this episode. And uh, it's on to completing that recoil. Oh my gosh. 17 kills. 17 kills today. I think it was like 30 something last time. Guys. Guys, guys, guys. Fuck that. Let's go back. Let's go back. You know what? I'm going to go right for that gold bar as well. Um, we do have to sell some stuff. We have 38 blood runes that we got as well from that, plus whatever we have in the bank. So we definitely have the money. The gold bar. Come on. <laughs> I do have more laws in the bank. Uh, okay, let's get a second one of those. And, uh, yeah, then it's cosmic runes. And get the money for an Addy Dagger. I'm so freaking excited. So we got our two gold bars, and we're gonna come over to the shopkeeper here, see how much coins they buy these blood runes for. Uh, 160. Okay, I'm gonna sell five to each world. I'm not gonna sell the death runes because I'll save those for the uh, magic shop for another time. Um, but yeah, I do want to get that adamant dagger, and that is incredibly slow hop times. Holy crap. So, um, I'm gonna sell all of them simply because we also need to buy sapphires. And we could do that in Alcarid as well, which is where I'm going next to kill hill giants for cosmics. And it's also where the furnace is, so I could, uh, you know, sculpt all this together. Nope, what am I doing? 800 coins for an adamant dagger? Fuck off. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Luckily, I think the Zamorite Warriors dropped Chaos Runes, is that correct? No. Okay, that is my, um... That's my plan out the window, to be honest, guys. I was going to go magic. I was going to use um, Wind Blast for the fight. We're still going to have to do the same thing with Fire Strike. We're going to have to buy runes. Okay, uh, I'll talk about what I got in a minute. Fishing Trawler, let's go. So I'm not going to be able to return to Zaya now. So I've done everything I want to do. I've got my apple pies. I made the money from the silk so we could do this. I didn't really get the ratios right, but I didn't want to waste too much time. So we do have a few more. We've got 771 casts, effectively. Um, or just under with the fire runes, not quite doing it. Just thought I'd quickly grab the robe. Super easy to get. Boom. We're now going to hit a lot better. Or we'll probably hit the same amount. But I mean, in terms of like future endeavors with uh, with a bit of magic, we'll be able to hit a bit better on things that actually have magic defense, etc. Um, and they also give a really nice prayer bonus of... Three and three, so six prayer bonus just from that, which is lovely. Especially as I don't have any uh, legs at the moment as well for the fight. I'll take those. This is not going to be fun. It is going to be manual casting for all of this. So, yeah, good times ahead. Good times ahead. I actually uh, was doing this live on my stream on Friday. And we got a rune simi in, I think it was 14 kills. So, if we can get that sort of luck here, I'll be very happy. I'll, uh, I'll take you along for the first kill. And then we'll see if we get it. If not, you're probably just going to see me get it at some point. And hopefully soon, first kill. No, that was too much to too much to hope for, that was. What? All right. Look at that. We're out here gaming, fellas. Oh my gosh, they really do sell it. Okay, well, I'm not going to spend 250 on that one. To be honest, guys, I'm, I'm going to spend a few minutes and just buy a bunch because... I'm going to need a bunch going forward, and if it's this damn cheap, I mean, I, I I will gladly allocate some time now for it, so. Yeah, let's fucking buy, like, 20. 
Um, okay, let's get out all of our coins. Just actually don't need all of our coins, truthfully, but we're gonna get some more kebabs. Gonna save the cakes, of course. That's still gonna be the food for the final fight. And uh, then the hill giants, because we still need those cosmics. And uh, looking forward to getting some levels this episode as well. Just a little update for you guys. I am 81 kills in today, and I have 80-something kills um, when I was going for this shield and trying to hit eights in the previous episode. Um, and in this whole time, I haven't gotten any cosmic rune drops, and it's 1 out of 64 for two of them. So I could make the two recoils, assuming I get the drop, but it's just not happening. We still have 50 minutes left, so it still is very, very, very possible. Um, but I also have to save a little bit of time to get the strength potions this episode as well. So realistically, I'm looking at, like, maybe 40 minutes at absolute most. There it is. There it is, the cosmic runes, guys. I'm gonna go take care of this right now before there's something I'm not realizing that I have to do. So I'm gonna make the recoils, I'm gonna get the pots, and then I'll probably finish off the episode just training. Um, to be honest, I might train elsewhere because uh, the barbarians were faster than, than the hill giants, so. But first things first, worry about what we're here to worry about. You know, I just realized if I need crafting experience, I might be able just to buy the sapphires and cut them and sell them i think i'd actually make money and get 50 xp per i'll keep that in mind but here we go guys sapphire rings one recoil two recoils it's not the rune scimitar but it is a rune dagger so it is an upgrade actually quite a big upgrade 17 wow it's actually insanely better. Uh, it's not the rune simi, but it is, It is. you know, an upgrade and we'll take that. It's better than what I was going into the fight with. So uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it is the rune scimitar next. I think they're similar chances. They could be, they could be the same. I'm not sure. Kill after. And that is the same chance as the rune scimitar. I can assure you of that. Uh, probably is better than the rune dagger. I'm not sure. I'd have to look into that, but uh, that's annoying because that is 1 in 50. Ah. Oh, 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 yes. 46. 46. And look how close I am to running out of runes. Okay, I think I'm going to be doing hill giants just because of the big bones. We can get ourselves some prayer levels. Um, and on top of that, they do drop some stuff that's okay. Um, so I'm probably going to be flicking. Let's make sure we've got the right flicks on here. Yeah, beautiful. Flicking, just trying to get as much XP as possible. We're going for 40 strength. I think we can definitely do it in an hour. That should not be a problem with the rune scimitar, to be honest. Um, so yeah, going from, what, 38 and a half to 40 here. And we're already hitting eights. Although I'm being hit quite hard. I didn't think I would be. There we go. 40 strength coming in. But I've actually looked into the max hit calculator. If I get 42 strength... Uh, and stay on aggressive for the fight, I can hit 11s or 10s? I can't remember now. Uh, I can hit 10s. And now we have the other key thing that you get from these guys. There we go. So we now have the Moss Giant and Obor. Boom. And this is 42 about to come in, and that means we can start hitting 10s while we are on aggressive. Obviously, we're going to go do a little bit of defensive just to get, we'll probably be able to get one, maybe two levels. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so now we can hit tens in the fight when we are on aggressive, which is going to be a big DPS booster compared to what I was hitting last fight. I think I was hitting like sixes or fives max. And we had cakes as well. Now we have apple pies. We can hit tens. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling a lot better than I was last episode. I'll tell you that right now. Got one defense level, but we are not going to get two. So this is going to be the last kill. See what we get. Might as well hit one while we see. Cosmic runes, nice. They will come in handy. And boom, that is going to be us done. Thank you very much, V-Clock. Feeling a lot better. A lot, lot better. We got the apple pies. We got the rune scimitar. He still got me on defensive bonuses, unfortunately, but... I am feeling good. I am feeling very good. We'll see. Let's get into this fight. So with one of our unlocks, we actually picked Edgeville, which gave us access to the Edgeville dungeon. Technically, we can get all of the sewers now if I had 51 agility, which I do not. But right now, it's not a PK or is it? Of course, it's around my combat level. He actually can't attack me. Um, let's enter the wilderness. We should probably heal up. But the reason we are here is we want to collect 
some red spider's eggs because red spider eggs mean we can get some strength potions. Are there no red spider's eggs here? That Iron Man definitely just took him. It's gotta be. I'm gonna kill you, bro. I'm gonna kill you. Okay, I couldn't hop because uh, I was in combat, but he did take him. Okay, they are here. I had a nervous breakdown for a second, not gonna lie. Um, I was thinking, oh my gosh, what if? <gasps> Sorry, bro. I ain't hopping at this point. I ain't hopping. I'm yoinking. I got a competition to win. I'm on a time limit. Wow, so if anybody wants a pretty good moneymaker and you're like a really low level no joke pick up red spider's eggs um they took them out of the nightmare zone shop and i think that's why they're so expensive but super super easy to do there we go and they come in four dose as well yes guys yes 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 i'm not gonna waste these i mean I, technically i should train with them but i really don't know when i'm gonna ever get super potions and i don't want to have to constantly be a slave to hill giant so i'm not going to use them to train with at least not right now for 20 minutes but i'm gonna bank these i am gonna go off to the barbarians and train for the rest of the episode we could definitely get 40 attack in the meantime maybe even 41 or maybe i'll focus on getting a few defense levels instead okay guys 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 here we are just want to say we got 40 attack and also 36 strength on the account um, you guys could actually see a mini game teleport. I just used that to get to Soul Wars to get to Edgeville really quick because we actually did agility training um, on stream with Link. So he's also 45. It's it's no extra benefit that I have. He's 45. I'm 45. We do it for a cool live stream setting. We answer questions about it. Uh, it was great fun. But anyways, so that's equal. That explains why that's in the top left hand corner, and we will recharge our prayer before the fight. I'm a bit of a mess right now, um, but we. In this episode, got recoils, we got an adamant dagger poisoned, and full of Ventaria cakes. Guys, I, I'm i excited for this fight. If I lose this fight, I won't even be mad because this is my plan exactly. I'm going in this fight exactly how I envisioned it. And if Link one up it, or if he has recoils too, maybe he has poison as well. I mean, I don't know what his last unlock was then, you know, fair play on him. He fucking had a counter and a half, so I'm scared to go with magic, truthfully, but hopefully the poison or recoils could um, outdo it, and of course, if that's the case, I'll just take off my armor. Uh, we do have that magic defense as well, so uh, let's let's hop in the fight, guys. Let's 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 make the dream come true. Get out. What's up, my man? How we doing? Another episode. Another bit of progression. Yeah. How did it yeah. go? What I'm gonna say is, so when I first originally got the the square, I I got um, instant dread came right. over my whole. I mean, where being. where did you get? I mean, we're gonna see it anyway. So I got the barrows chunk. The, the actual one, like barrows. Like oh I could have went on fucking Darok's tomb this episode. No. Um. Yeah. Obviously, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not doing barrows, even if I got a Darox axe, not like I could fucking use it, but... Um... Oh, yeah, but that's like, you don't have to unlock that now, that's just like, future episodes, it's done. Uh, you say that, but I, I, I did tell you behind the scenes how I did like an hour of theory crafting everything I can do. Now, by barrows, um, a lot of stuff is cut off due to questing. Mm -hmm. The main thing I wanted to, to make use of was the fact that I can go in the, um, the haunted mine, because in right. Tarn's Lair, yeah, all yeah, those yeah, fucking yeah, weird yeah. things. Yeah. One problem, though. Mm -hmm. There's one bank down there, and you need to pay a thousand coins. And oh, I was trapped yeah. in there with nothing in my inventory. So I'm looking at like the snails that I can kill and cook, but I, I don't have any cooking level or anything. So it was completely blocked off unless I wanted to go straight to Canifis. Now here's the silver lining, though. I made a straight line right to my first ever unlock, the Mage Training Arena, back to my Square One roots of the entire map. Wait, I'm Barrows so confused. Still tech so three squares over yeah. is basically Alcarid. So I now unlocked other areas around the, like Varrock, for example, by Varrock. I'm unlocking Edgeville right. now. I'm unlocking chunks by, I unlocked the cow fields in Lumbridge. So that 
that right, path allowed right, me right. to then unlock Sorry, everything you said else. Mage Training Arena, and I thought Wildy Bank, and I was like, what? How's he got up there? Oh, right, no. right, right, right. Okay, yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, that yeah, makes yeah, sense. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I kind of had three dead squares, and I can't even get back to Barrows because I don't have a path to Barrows. The only thing would be a Barrows Telly or a Shades of Morton Telly, both of which I cannot do. So I would still need to form a path to walk down there so unfortunately the first thing i did in the episode was like i'm sorry guys i'm telling straight out of here um i can't do anything in the haunted mine can't do barrows i'm not mm -hmm. going to cannabis yeah yeah, yeah in yeah. the next one you know so um so i unlocked hasidious which meant Ooh. i could then unlock so what i've done is i've unlocked the chunk behind hasidious which has fishing spots and it has snake grass I got oh, Port Piscarilius. I got the other side of the Karen Castle, like the sort of town bit, and I got the magic shop. Now that were my five oh, chunks. Oh no! No, 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 Kins. Oh so no! I, we I, said magic shop. I I based my whole plan on being able to get death runes and and really go <sighs> at magic. You need fucking no. favor. You need fucking favor. Yes. To use That's the second everything time it fucked you over, hasn't except it? the general store, which did sell basic runes. So I was, I did have access to basic runes. I had obviously ba access to silk as well. So I spent two hours yeah. nearly getting fifteen fishing and thirty cooking through Hasidius and all that shit, so that I could use the fishing trawler teleport. So I then got all my money. Oh, and. Got runes, and I tellied to the fishing trawler on back. So I then pretty much... I used Zaya to get my fishing up. That was about it. And then come back and do some stuff here. So I was similar to you, mate. So the favor... The favor fucked the you. The favor's horrible, man. The That's favor. a horrible place to go. And I was one chunk off being able to get favor. It's that library you need unlocked. So you can do it. Which is <laughs> so annoying. So on go, we'll check the combats. Yes. Three, two, one, here we go. Oh, fuck. Oh. Three levels. Wow. Wow. What wow. the wow. hell have you got? Um, I'm just going to look you up now, Link. Uh, no, I'll look you up as well. Uh, wow, okay. So ki okay. 40 attack. Oh. Sour. Okay, equal. Got 46 you on strength, strength and defense. 40, yeah, yeah, That's yeah, huge. yeah. Dude, is that where I, your I XP went into? 20k, yeah, dude, just, just, uh, just strength dump. 20k, okay. straight. You got me three straight levels on, on defense. 24 prayer. I have 39 magic, which obviously I was planning on getting 41 for wind blast. So he's not going that big. I was trying to get right. wind blast. So I was like, that hits like 14s or something. 13s. 13s, yeah. 13. And I was like, there's no way he's out eating that shit, you know? Like, <laughs> but right. no, they won't. They wouldn't sell me death runes. So <laughs> that plan went out the window. That is, that is, wow. I, I actually feel for you a bit because uh, I'd, I'd mean, say hold your feels. Hold your feels is what I'd say, to be honest. Oh my god, he's got fucking plan C. Plan, plan Z came out. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> oh god you uh 300 years before it's time so i put my 15k into magic by the way thinking i could do the whole wind blast shit and just didn't happen <laughs> at all so yeah but, right, right. but i have unlocked That's some different. tellies like falador teleport lumbridge varrock etc so you know i'll take it yeah, I mean, like, yeah, yeah, because that's huge, because you're ready once you yeah. get those unlocks. So. Yeah. And I got Port Piscarillus now, and Fishing Trawler, so ports are looking quite good for me, that's so, big. yeah. Yeah, uh, pick right on, mate. dude, I, uh, right, okay, okay, Helm. What, I, I mean, based on your location, you, you, I mean, there might be a difference, but I doubt you're going to... Well, okay, did he get legs? <laughs> that's what I... All right, I'll go legs next, then. Let's see what you've got. Yeah. From what you said, you it doesn't sound like you're going to upgrade too much here. You know what I've got. He's going magic. Mother fucking shit. <laughs> He's going magic. Mother fucking shit? I'm going to save the, the, the viewers the headache. You already oh know. God. You already know. I don't. So just fucking toy with me, Link. Toy with me. Oh my god. He's got a weapon. You would have put it on if it was still the Addy Sword. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, no, I got the oh, Addy Sword. Oh, Calm okay. down. Oh, fuck fuck sake. Well, well right. look, I'm not a fucking magician over here. Obviously still I got mean, this. I mean, you are. Obviously still got this. 
Uh, we're using this. We're using this. Wow. Hey, wow. Kids, we wow. are using this. Wait, are you? <laughs> Come on. <sighs> Zabi Warriors, okay, 46, 46. And I nearly oh, was God. out of runes. I had like enough for maybe three more kills. Oh, he's got you, the poison. You toy he's got the poison. That. You got toy. The poison. Oh, he saw it. He saw it. He saw it. Also, Link, check my crafting level. He's fuming right now. A rune scimitar, though. I wasn't fucking expecting. I know that. you weren't. I thought you were, man. Like back to fishing trawler with a fuckload of runes. I thought you would have. You know, over to ZMI. <laughs> Well, I mean, I, 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 trust me, I know what's in your arsenal of plans, but I don't yeah, know, you made I it sound like you were struggling two hours I in mean, the dude, fucking... I mean, dude, I think I, I think I had just under two hours when I came back, and then I think it took me about an hour and a bit, maybe, I can't remember exactly, to get the rune simmy, so it was like an hour of just sat there, fire striking fucking zami warriors, you know. Right, Kins, cool. you had a, you had a little... You had a trick up your sleeve with the recoils and the uh two tricks, one might say. Yeah. Uh, and you're saying you got cakes? Ah. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh. Can you buy like sharks and fucking I know you can, I, but it's fever. I briefly dropped in when we were talking about our um zones that I got thirty cooking. And that was so that I could make these bad boys. Ooh, is that fourteen? Fourteen heels. Two bites. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. No, and it could be. It could be much. much well, this much is the worse. thing. I'm only nine levels away now from like potato butters, etc. You know. So that was my plan. Yeah. I'm like, we can we can start ramping this up. You know. Fuck me. This is gonna be interesting. Things have Holy just got shit. serious. This is probably the the last of the non-serious fights, I'd say, and this one is fairly serious. <laughs> Dude, I don't know, bro. I like looking at our gear. There, I mean, look, I we get showed up a lot where we have a theory and one's better, but looking at our gear right now, I have no idea who takes this. And I, I have, have to eat more. less. You have to eat a lot more than I do with the ticks yes. and shit. It's gonna be interesting, mate. Uh -huh. Oh, let's get okay, into let's this. Do let's do it. Let's no do it. wonder why you were so eager to fight tonight. Fuck you. I was ready for bed. <laughs> Ra, it's late. Rog forgot a strength pot, so I'm gonna let him get it. Okay. Two second warning. Fifty three strength. That's fucking shit. Come on, hit. <sighs> oh fuck. Oh. Oh shit! I'm on the wrong. I was on defense. Come on, hit. Fucking Don't hit. shit. Oh yeah. my god! And hit. You guys should just keep the fucking tag around. Oh my god. Man, no! Do I go for it for back to the four poison or rock the three? Oh god, uh, seventeen. Dude, how long has this fight been going on? Holy shit! It feels uh, like it's been nine minutes. years. Six minutes. Dude, I was iffy on going for them because we get the XP reward, but I was like, I, I wanted, I, I want to one up, and then you fucking one up with this, with the scimitar, so it's just like fuck. So all this would be in vain if I don't get this win. Oh my gosh, let's go. Yeah, you've got this. Almost certain of it. Oh my god, are you out? Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Don't tell me you're out. No, no, no. I had two apple pies and a half. Oh, the ruined scimitar. <sighs> I'm so sure I was losing that. That is such a welcome surprise. Oh my gosh, bro. <sighs> Fuck. Well, fair play, ruined scimitar. I knew it was going to happen eventually, but... Oh... Uh, dude, you get the rune simmy so early in every fucking series we do. You, you do know this, right? Dude, like, Fuck. I had to do it because all I was rocking was a fucking myth sword and I had no other upgrades. Like, oh it had to happen. God. 
Fuck. All right, guys, time to spin again. Now, we kept up with this DPS there. If I could get a leg slot, I'd be very, very happy. Let's have a look. Let's generate. 296. Okay. Guys, that was fucking... Oh, oh, it hurts. That hurts. That hurts. That hurts. We actually calced it. My guy did more damage, but he had just better food and with the rune simi you know he still did a lot of damage but oh my gosh that hurts man but you know what we're not going to put our head down yet i'm still feeling very confident with my account build and maybe we can get a nice spin on here so we have between one 472 that's 172 472 let's generate that thing 292 <sighs> that is wildy 296 here it is boneyard it's not that far one two three four five we could get the wieldy altar from there i have no idea where that is let's pull up the gigantic map um 292 it was yes i had a check that's the wieldy the good, the, I mean, the great news is that I can connect again to my original. Holy shit. Um, it would actually be a lot. It'd be one, two, three to connect. Same sort of situation. It would be like in Mortigany last episode. Um, to be honest, I, I, I don't know what I would do. I'm going to have to definitely think about this, of course, and take it forward. I mean, it, it, this isn't showing it, but I actually think... Um, I actually think that's the tile that has last man standing. Kenos. Ear swirling tells me his luck is horrible. And then he's gonna give a big sigh. Then he's gonna act like he's the worst fucking thing he's ever gotten. And then he's gonna win next episode. That is fucking Link's uh, fucking MO. I'll be yeah, honest, I don't, I, I just don't know. I just don't know. And he's gonna find some crazy. No, no, it did. It's, it's neutral. It is just neutral. I just don't know whether it's good or bad, to be honest. Like, no idea. Oh, God. It's one of those chunks that you have to look into and look what's around it and shit. I'll say I'm in a pretty similar situation. It's just stuff I could do, but is it, like, worth doing? Right. Um, especially this point in the account. I feel like every second is just so crucial because, I don't it's know, time just in to general. Find yeah. out in the next episode, guys, which will be up on Rog's channel on Tuesday. Tuesday, Thursday is the schedule. Find out who's going to uh, get the better out of the two. We'll see you there. Which will be me. I'm foreshadowing, by the way. I'm winning yeah. an episode. There you go. God. Yeah, I know I have to win. Fuck.